Hey guys, what's up? It is Carl Plankin at, uh, with Plankin's Network, and today in the studio we also have... Preston Bailey. Who has shown up for work again, two days in a row. Anyways, you guys, today we are... Uh, so, one thing that's going to be different from usual, my microphone I usually use, is uh, currently being stupid, so we're using my built-in microphone, so the audio might have a little back bit of background noise. I will try and fix it, and post but I'm not sure if uh, I'll be able to so we'll just see how that goes with the audacity but uh, yeah today we got a pretty cool video for you so Preston and I both have different views on two different devices Preston happens to like Android I happen to like iOS so today we are bringing you guys a video on how to I mean, not how to my bad you guys sorry used to tutorials Android versus iPhone, if you guys couldn't tell from the backgrounds on the computer. So we're doing Androids versus uh, iPhones. And uh, I think I need to speed this up. Yeah. Just so that we see these. Sorry, you guys. So today we're going to be giving you guys 10 reasons why iPhone is better than Android, or 10 reasons why Android is better than iPhone. You guys decide. You guys, let us know in the com comments below what you like. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start this off with Preston's first point. Preston, why do you hate iOS? What's your biggest pet peeve out of everything that iOS offers? What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, what bugs me the most is uh, when you try to uh, get music, it's not free. And I just don't think music should cost money and stuff like that. And... It's just stupid how, like, you have to go through all of that, and it's just difficult. It's just, I don't like it. It's complicated. So basically, Preston's saying he likes free, illegal music. Okay, <laughs> me, thing I hate about Android the most would have to be that there are a lot of versions of Android that in the past and in the present with certain phones aren't that great for performance. In other words, it basically doesn't work too well with the hardware it's on. Okay, so Preston, do you want to start off or do you want me to start off for the first reason? Go ahead. Okay. So, first reason I think iPhones are better are because, dude, the apps look way better on iPhone than they do on Android. So, what's your reason? What's your uh, comeback to that? I would say uh, there's a lot more on the general market and way more variety when it comes to Androids. Okay. Second reason for Carl liking iOS more than Android. I personally love the fact that iPhone 8 uh, updates for all, I it updates really, really fast. It basically takes no time for the iOS updates to apply to a phone. No matter what the carrier, no matter what carrier they use. Okay, your response. <clears throat> the thing I really like is that it's open source, and you have way much more you can actually do on there, and a lot more like you know options and custom customized uh, amazables on there that you can do. Okay. My reason for liking Apple more is, uh, granted, I don't have uh, an iPad. I do have a MacBook. I love the fact that iPhone works brilliantly with Mac. It will connect seamlessly. You can send stuff to each computer or to your tablets. I uh, It just works really well together. And, Preston, you for uh, Android? I just think that, you know, when you, uh, when you get onto Androids and you go to the Google Play Store, you don't need to have to put your password in every time to download an app. And I just think it's a complete crud that you have to have all these passwords and all this stuff. And it is really limit you. I just don't like closed source phones and stuff like that. Okay. For my next point, the thing that I personally hate the most about Androids, and this is actually a huge pet peeve of mine with computers too. So when you go and buy a new computer or a new Android phone, 
and it has a ton of software already on it that you're not even going to use. On Android, you get carriers that have bundled apps. iPhone, you don't have that issue because no matter what carrier you're with, there are no apps that are added to your device. Well, Carl, what you don't realize is that it depends on the company that made that phone. For example, if it's a Samsung or Huawei or Kyork or, or uh, yeah, this, it doesn't matter. It just each company is different when they make their phones, and you can uninstall those and get rid of them. Okay, I get that you can uninstall them. It's annoying and having to do it. <laughs> okay. I get what you mean. That is actually kind of annoying. You're not supposed to agree with me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. That's one thing I don't like either. It's, it's like I don't like those extra shit. I don't okay. like this sports stuff, and it's like I don't care about that. Okay, so sports are awesome, by the way. We should do a debate on why you don't like sports, thanks. No. I, you should say something about iPhones that you don't like. I said something I don't like about iPhones. I agreed with you on that. I hate how closed they are. I hate the ar architecture not being able to be modified like you can do uh, with Android. Okay, so my next reason for liking Apple is the Apple Care Plus iPhone warranty. Which, uh, for those of you that don't know, I actually did look this up just so I could explain a little better. Apple offers an iPhone warranty for $99 that extends a manufacturer's warranty to two years. Adds two years of your accidental damage coverage and support by phone in, uh, or in store. This is Apple Care's Apple Care Plus and it's service that you need to buy, but it's something that most Android phones don't come with. So that is my statement for that. Now in saying that, I will say this, and I did not know this before you guys, before I made this video, I was doing some research on it. Apparently, there's something called phone insurance. <laughs> Which <laughs> is just mind-boggling. It seems like there's insurance for everything nowadays. Phone insurance is an extra thing you can get. I don't do phones. I could, could, I could get it. I just don't get it because I don't always have the money. Okay, your turn. Next reason. One thing I really particularly love about Androids is that basically you can just... <clears throat> this one's kind of hard to explain. So. Google is just awesome. I'm sorry, but you can find anything on Google. And I like Chrome a lot more better just because Safari limits you and it's kind of a slow browser and I just don't like it. It's just annoying how much it lags and, you know... I just wish that iPhone would change it up a little bit and say, hey, there's a new browser for, you know. Okay. Think nothing in the home screen ever changes. Okay, mine for this is, uh, I like the fact that you can share with other iPhones fairly easily. You have AirDrop and uh, other features making sharing between iPhones just, like, really, really simple. It's really user-friendly. It's uh, ergonomic. It's just a... Uh, a really good, a really good feature to the iOS uh, software, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make it all easier on me. He's reading this off of offline, guys. I have to think on top of my head is a challenge. <laughs> um, just a little bit of comedy for you, so the video doesn't seem all boring. Um, if it seems like I'm thinking, just give me a second because it's kind of hard to come up with everything on top of my head. Um, one thing I really, I think it's a pretty cool feature. I just like how, like, each Android is different from one each other. Yes, they're all Androids, but each Android is special in this, their own way. Like, for example, this Android has, uh, you know, this feature and this feature. You can do some really cool stuff with the features, and they have really cool things in their settings, and the camera is awesome. I, I honestly think the cameras beat the freaking... Androids, I mean, iPhones cameras. Actually, believe it or not, I think, okay, so I will say this. There is only one phone on the market right now that beats a 4K camera on the iPhone. In case you didn't know, the iPhone has 4K cameras now. I, I know Android does too. I, Samsung Galaxy does. Yeah, I know, that's what I was saying. Samsung Galaxy S7, I believe, had, or S6, whatever is the newest one. Uh, it has a 4K camera on it as well. 
And yes, you guys, I'm cheating. I'm actually going to be honest with you guys. I'm not really uh, the biggest fan of iOS either, but we had to do this, so I, th I figured I'd take the topic and just cheat off online. Uh, one thing I will give iPhones, though, and this is actually a really uh, true, uh, for just about every phone, it's, and, and I'm going to exclude the Galaxies in this because I'm pretty sure they re uh, resell for a lot too, but iPhones, no matter what generation it's from, for some reason sell for a lot more money than a lot of Androids do. And, uh, so yeah, uh, that's, that's that point. And, uh, we got, we each have one more point, and then, uh, we're done for the night. You guys, we're off work, and we're gonna go home and see our families. Okay, this is, uh, this is a pretty good reason, and this one, uh, I think... Honestly, doesn't get really noticed and stuff like that. But one thing about Androids, you don't need to have particular, you know, ports. The port's always the same. And micro so. USB. Yeah, you have this micro USB. But the things like it seems to always change their USB style and stuff like that. And it's just it's hard to sync stuff sometimes with. Uh, you know, the sync issues sometimes with iPhones, and you don't really have to worry about that on Androids at all. That is true, and I will say uh, this in response to that. Lightning is miles better than micro USB is. Micro uh, Lightning transfers data a lot faster than micro, micro USB at this point does. Uh, now, if you get a phone with, like, Type-C USB, usually that's a, a little bit better... But uh, it just depends on the phones. I don't believe any Android phones have Type-C USB yet. Uh, they should include that on the next Galaxy, though. I'm sure Samsung will think something up. I and mean, that the video closes down, I think, honestly, for the hell of it, let's throw one more out there. For example, equal that. Yeah. We'll do one more, guys. I just think we should add an extra one, just in because... In case that wasn't exactly 10. I think it was over 10. I don't even think it was 10. Um, one thing I think is cool about Android is the fact that you can uh, go in when you feel like it and check your own software and not have it just updated and have problems right away. You can just go and check it yourself. I like to have the uh, option of manually going in and checking it yourself. And so you like that control. Yeah. That's okay, I like about him, uh, for that, I will say, uh, I, I actually don't really have a comeback for that, but uh, next on the list is Apple Stores for support. You can go into a uh, mall or somewhere for us, our fashion place mall on uh, uh, 6400 South has an Apple Store in it. So if I have an issue with an iPod, iPad, MacBook, MacBook Air, iMac, or anything, I can just walk into that store and say, hey, this is broken. Pay them to fix it, and I'm on my way. It's really simple. It's really easy. I don't have to send anything to anybody. They all take care of that for me. And uh, so that's all for the points today. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know below what your guys' favorite uh, phone device was. I'm sorry that uh, neither one of us is really iOS fans here, but uh, you can't blame us. We're both uh, tech people, and we like to be able to have our control. I, I'll tell you guys this, I have a MacBook, in fact, that's what I was looking at stuff up on. My MacBook does not run Mac, it runs Windows 7. Because I'm not the biggest fan of the newer versions of Mac OS X either. I also hate how much resource their operating systems use. I, that said, so Android has a few of those too, but uh, like I said at the beginning, that's all for today's video, you guys. I hope you liked it, like I said, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.